Okay, welcome to Unreal Engine, and this is the Unreal Engine part of the tutorial where we're going to learn how to use the real-time morph targets. As you can see, I have the character setup. This is pretty standard creature plugin Unreal Engine setup, so if you're not familiar with it, I encourage you to take a look at the other tutorials where we actually set up the creature plugin for Unreal Engine. Okay, now the things you need to take note of in particular are, of course, you need to hook up the, let me drag this wider as you can see you have of course have to set up the creature animation asset that's important but you also have to set up the creature meta asset make sure you know how to set that up that is covered in the previous tutorials because the morph targets are actually encoded in the meta asset itself now if we double click on the meta assets you will see that if your morph targets are set up the morph poses list will show up and you can see all the poses you've set up correctly in your creature meta asset so double check on that just to make sure it's actually exported right so let's get back to this character and see how we're actually going to activate the morph targets now one way to do it is to use blueprints because it's super powerful and i'm going to open up the level blueprint and let me show you the setup it's actually not that complicated the goal of this demo right here as you can see is i actually have a sphere a very simple static sphere standard static sphere in unreal engine in ue4 and I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the owl head turn target this sphere pretty cool right so the owl is actually going to look at the sphere as i drag the sphere around in the demo let's see how it's actually accomplished so let's look at the event begin play what's the first thing we do so here are the key concepts of this setup. The first thing you need to do when the you know the game starts playing, whatever, is to actually activate the morph targets. Very, very simple. You just call set morph targets active. Now this is a function, a blueprint function on the creature mesh component. Just set the flag to true. That's all you need to do and you are done. Okay? And then after that, for each tick, you want to actually make the owl target in real time a moving target. Right? So what you do is you simply call this function called set morph targets world point. Now it says world point because the point is in world space coordinates. So make sure that is true. Okay. And to use this function again is super, super simple. You have a point in and that as you can see right here is actually my static mesh component component, which is the sphere, right? So I'm getting the world location, world space location of the sphere and I'm plugging it in into point in. And the other one you want is the base point, which is also in world space, but this is actually the source point of the morph tar of the morph target from where it's going to be looking at, which is actually, in this case, the location of my owl character, which is creature mesh, right? So I'm just saying, give me the world location of my character, my creature mesh, and plug it in to the base point. Lastly, there is radius, and radius is basically how far apart you think the character will be able to, to target before it maxes out, you know, its, its, its different blend shapes, uh, ranges, so to speak. Now, it's basically, it's intuitively, it's basically the radius of, of the, the parameter space of the morph target. You can set it to two and play around with it. The, the, the larger the, the radius, the more you can actually shift the sphere around before it actually hits the limits of the different morph poses. Now, and then there's uh, ZUP or ZUP as you call it, <laughs> where basically in Unreal Engine it is, you have to check this because if, if Z or Z is going up upwards in that direction, check it. Otherwise, if Y is going upwards, uncheck that. And those, that's it. That's those are the only parameters. So point in, base point, radius, and Z up or Z up. Now let's play the game and see what we get. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to detach myself from the game and I'm actually going to move the sphere. And notice what happens. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? So this is a demonstration of real time morph targets in Unreal Engine. And you, as you can see, let me just zoom in a bit. As you can see, it's working quite well. We have, we have five different poses of the owl character, and I can actually drag this sphere around, and I can have the character actually target the desired target location. Now I can change the base location so that 
you know, it's actually a bit more precise. But I intentionally shifted the base location to be the root object, the root of the mesh, so that I, I can have the owl looking downwards more a bit. Totally up to you. But in any case, this is a real-time demonstration of morph targets. I think a very, very powerful feature that you can use in Creature in the Unreal Engine plugin. Okay, so that concludes this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy animating.